In this video, I'm going to go over four applications that you should download on the iPad Pro as an engineering student in college. So this is kind of a continuation of a video I did, my first video actually on this channel, and it's actually a very popular video. So I wanted to give you four more applications that you should download. So let's not wait any further and let's get into the video. All right, so welcome back to my channel. I make videos about the iPad Pro, engineering students, and other student things that you should know about. And there's a lot more videos to come, so subscribe and like the video if you're excited for that. And we'll start off with the first application, and that's going to be Shift Screen. So this application allows you to do something that you can't natively do on the iPad, and that's take advantage of a full screen when connecting to an external monitor. Now, with this, it's not gonna be every application, but you can use a web browser, that's basically what Shift Screen is, a web browser that takes advantage of the full screen on the external monitor. So what this allows you to do is kind of open up a application very small um, which is shift screen on your iPad and then a larger application of your choice that can support the dual screen capabilities on the iPad and what this allows you to do is have a full external monitor for your web browser and then almost a full screen on your iPad for the application you're trying to use so this can help you with multitasking and productivity which is really important as a college student if you're trying to get things done. This is especially good for those who are trying to use the iPad as their main device and paired with the Magic Keyboard or something like that, either a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse, it will pair perfectly with this and, it'll, and, it, and it will enhance your experience overall. So definitely worth checking out. And as you can see from the clips I'm showing you, it does take advantage of the full screen and it works with a TV, a monitor, and um, there's a lot more features added and the developer is really great at responding to you on Twitter and getting your feedback as well. So if you're interested in this app, go ahead and download it. It's only gonna be 4.99, five bucks at the time of this recording. And I would highly suggest looking into it and seeing if you like it for yourself and purchasing it now because over time the price of the app can go up or if there's a subscription based model introduced in the future you will lose out on this one-time purchase capability so i would highly suggest you get an early head start on this application download and that'll be it for this one next up we have the application coder with this it allows you to actually download the application and run code on it I use this for HTML coding and you can basically view anything that you do on this application. You don't have to jump into a separate application and you don't need to go on your actual desktop computer to look at what you did. You can actually see what you compiled on the actual iPad itself. So it's a really useful and really helpful tool. And this allows you to get more stuff done on your iPad and not have to rely on your heavy laptop or rely on a desktop. So you can just use your iPad. Just sync up your data with either Google Drive or iCloud Drive and then download it on the iPad and you can open it up and run everything on here and code on here or continue your work for your classroom and it will work perfectly fine. There's also a lot of different languages supported on this which is really awesome and I'll show that up on the screen as well basically through the uh, App Store description. Staying on the subject of coding, if you want to learn how to code, and this is what I did to learn HTML, and I actually did it within a day, it took a couple hours, but I used the application Solo Learn. I don't know about other applications, but there are a whole bunch of other applications that do the same thing. I just like Solo Learn because it's the first app I downloaded, and from the other, based off what I've seen on the other ones, I like the interactive interface that they approach with this application. So with this one, you can basically choose a whole bunch of different languages and start learning them. And they have the introduction kind of level, the intermediate level, and then more advanced levels as well that you can learn. And you get a certificate of completion, which is really cool. And it helps build up your skill set on LinkedIn and you can post about it. So it shows that you're actively learning, which is really awesome. And that's what I'm doing actually on LinkedIn as well. And what you can do is just learn whatever you want. So there's Python on here, C++, um, C and a lot of these different languages that you can learn and then you can just go through here and it helps do it in a way where you can try to retain it through by doing hands-on practice as you're learning which is really helpful they do quizzes they do fill in the blanks and overall I think it's a really great way of learning coding and keeping it fun as well and you can log off and log back in and pick up where you left off so 
perfect for summer break, especially during quarantine when you have nothing else to do instead of spending a whole bunch of time watching YouTube videos unless you're watching my channel, JK, but you know, you know what I mean. So really helpful tool and I highly suggest you check it out and it's completely free as well, which is great, especially for college students on a budget. Last up what we have is Wolfram Alpha. So this is a crazy, crazy powerful tool. And for this application, you can actually type in complex calculus or engineering problems and have it be solved. Now the problems aren't, you can't just type in your complete word problem and have it solve it. But for the calculation part, it can do it and it will show you step-by-step -step functions. The great thing about this is that you can actually go into an engineering section in the app and it can kind of show you what it can do and it breaks it down by your engineering major as well, which is really helpful. So for me as a mechanical engineering student, I took a class called Dynamic Systems and basically work with transfer functions and it can actually calculate whatever I need to do in terms of those tra transfer functions or convert those transfer functions into the actual formulas that I need. So really helpful and great tool to use definitely worth every penny but you can use the web version for free which is actually really awesome all right so that's going to wrap it up for the four apps i recommend in july of 2020 for you to download and basically with these applications i just want to continue the type of video i made as my first video because i saw that it was really popular and it seems like a lot of people are interested in this type of subject so if you're interested in an in-depth look at any at any of these applications or any other application that you've heard about and you want me to try it out let me know down in the comments below and i'll be sure to comment back and um, kind of look into the applications that you suggest as well so give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like this content and you're excited for more videos like this and don't forget to take it easy and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you